I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am gonna start off using the tapered square nail tips from Glitter Planet, and I'm just gonna go and apply them to all of the nails. So today I am gonna be showing you a sculpting method, but we're gonna be sculpting over the top of nail tips. So it's really interesting and it's really time saving if you can really nail the technique, so yeah. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, then please give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below what you thought about this technique. So once you've gone ahead and applied all of your tips, and if you was working on a client, obviously you do all your nail prep steps beforehand, then apply your tips and start sculpting your shape and length over the top of that. So as you can see, I'm coming in with white and a couple of the nails are going to be a baby boomer fade. So I'm starting off with the white and really trying to sort of sculpt the free edge the best as I possibly can to near us to the shape that I want it to be because that's where we are going to minimize the time of actually having to do any shaping of the tips because if you think when you apply tips in a regular method you apply the tips you shape them you apply your acrylic you reshape again so you kind of cut in that first shaping um, part out you're kind of skipping straight past that you're sculpting the nails on top of the tips and then you're just coming in and removing that excess tip that you didn't use so yeah i'm basically going to do that for the whole set this set turned out super cute as well and i really really actually did like the whole um design and everything like that so i hope you guys enjoy that as well so i'll let you guys go ahead and watch this video and i'll be back when i need to be back also the brush that i'm using i think it's the number 10 aqua brush from glitter planet i'll have all the products linked for you down below and i do show the colors of acrylic just a little bit later on in this video as well So now that I've finished that nail, how gorgeous does it look like that colour is beautiful. I'm coming in with this one and this glitter mix acrylic is from Glam and & Glitz and it's called Pixie. I think the other one is called Teresa but I do show them to you guys um, further along in the video. So again, I'm just going ahead and sculpting that free edge. I started more towards the nail plate this time and I found it much easier to actually get the shape if I started at the nail plate and then brought it down rather than starting at the free edge and bringing it up I kind of just felt that that was a little bit more like easier to kind of control the shape and everything but I do guess that if you continue practicing this method you could really get your time down and you'd really get absolutely fantastic at your shaping um, so yeah definitely practice makes perfect and it would just make it so much faster as well it actually did take me I don't know if this is long to anybody but I like saw the clip as I was editing to actually lay down all of my acrylic over the tips I think it took me nine minutes and then obviously it just took a couple of minutes to snip off so I didn't think that was too bad like y'all not too bad at all
So now as you can see I'm coming in and encapsulating in clear acrylic. When you are encapsulating using this technique you still want to make sure that you just focus on capping the area where you've built the nail. You don't want to go onto the tip or start encapsulating the whole clear tip because then you're going to have problems when you want to try and remove that and it's just going to be the same as sort of like filing off acrylic which takes a lot longer than just snipping off and removing some nail tips. So definitely just keep it um, located on the area of the nail that you've already sculpted over the top of that nail tip. Okay, so now comes the fun part and the part that you guys have all been waiting for, obviously, because that is what we want to know, how the heck this turns out. So I'm going to be using the Outer Space Stoic Scissors from Glitter Planet. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. And literally, all I'm doing is snipping off that excess nail tip that is exposed, that hasn't been covered in acrylic, that I haven't sculpted on top of. And that is it literally it's literally like sculpting like you're it's almost as fast as sculpting because sculpting is a little bit faster you don't have any shaping of the tips to do you just literally bang on your nail form sculpt your shape and that's it however with this method you can still use your tips apply your tips which is probably about the same time as applying nail forms and then sculpt straight over without shaping your tips first because then you shape in twice so it kind of cuts that bit out um so you could definitely get your times done with this as i said earlier on in the video especially if you executed this technique so once you've finished trimming off the excess nail tip you want to come in with your files and i'm using the ones from glitter planet they are the 100 180 grit nail files and i'll have those linked down below as well also don't forget to use my coupon code ninja10 if you want to get 10 percent off any orders placed on glitter planet and as you can see I'm just coming in with my file just to refine the shape there really isn't much refining to do because we already sculpted that shape there we're just literally taking it off the edge of that tip because I couldn't get so close with the stalk scissors and simply refining the shape it took a couple of minutes at the most to just go ahead and do that for all of the nails Okay, so now I'm coming in with the number five 3D brush and the same color that I used to sculpt this nail and I'm just gonna do some embossed 3D nail art and it looked super, super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just sped through it really quick, but if you guys want a slow-mo vid, then let me know and I can totally go ahead and do that for you guys as well. Here, I'm just literally wetting the full nail with monomer because it looked prettier. Like seriously, I was not feeling looking at the dry filing failed nail so that's all I did there so yeah I'm just going to continue adding little bits here and there and this brush is amazing for 3d work it's got a beautiful point but also has a bit of a belly as well to be able to flatten out and push your acrylic to exactly where you want it to go but that tip comes to such a fine point that you can literally do the smallest details ever Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm coming in and I'm applying a no wipe top coat to all the nails that needed it. Obviously, it's best if you don't cap your 3D work just because it looks more finished, I guess you could say, and it doesn't take away any of that actual dimension in the nails. And then this is the final result once I've cured it in the light. I really hope you enjoy it uh, there. <laughs> I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this and loved watching this technique. If you did, let me know down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all of my social media and always remember that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back